Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Exploring Briarwood. Today, we're back in the dirty south, and by that I mean the two towns straight south of Briarwood. So uh, this is kind of the zero zero um, latitude longitude, but we go straight south to the two towns. Right now, we're in the northern of those two. Uh, this is Jevalette. We've been here before, and there have been some updates on the three stadiums here. So this is uh, the Deutsche Telekom Center, or the T-Mobile Center, but I won't be calling that for the sake of, uh, let's see, T-Mobile Center is in Kansas City, right? Because T-Mobile Arena is in Vegas. Um, but anyways, this is this is the Telecom Center. This is home to the Javelette Thorns and the Javelette uh, Ranchers, I believe is the basketball team. Pink seats, very distinct. Um, obviously in the dark, it doesn't quite pop as much as it does during the light. It's based on the Bell Center or Le Centre Bell in Montreal. So the largest arena in the NHL, uh, and would be the NBA too, if I am not mistaken. So very, very large, um, wide lower deck, um, a secondary lower deck here, club level here, upper club level, which this will be boxes, and then upper, kind of lower upper deck, and then 10 row upper deck here. So very large footprint for an arena. This probably will be the largest arena in the world here. But then let's skip the ballpark for now because the ballpark's nearest to the station. Let's go over here. This is the one that's based on Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. This is called BMW Stadium. It's got a, um, I almost said a checkerboard. It's not quite a checkerboard. It's more of just a, a stripe pattern, black and lime green. Obviously, it will have the pinwheel shape and the roof eventually. Um, but this is home to the Jebelette. Chandler's soccer team and the Jevalet Scorpions football team. So this is the end, uh, if you remember, in Atlanta that kind of swoops up. This is the open end with the big windows behind it. That's the closed end back there. Eventually, the rest of the stadium to the sides will look like that end right there. Over here, then, is Barclays Field. This is based on Chase Field in Phoenix, home to the Jevalet Stampede. It's got brown seats. I haven't worked my way around the lower deck yet just because of the shape of it um but a very very large upper deck which because of the brown coloring you can't quite see in the dark hopefully the sun comes up pretty soon here um but very unique color scheme brown light blue this is what the stadium looks like from behind home plate there's a better picture of it on our instagram page go check that out briarwood.mcft but like I said, because of the shape, that's why I haven't quite gotten the lower deck complete yet. Um, big center field scoreboard. There's a Swiss flag on that side, the flag of Jevalette, which is taken from Valet, I think. Swimming pool in left field instead of right, and then bullpens in the corners as it is at Chase Field. But those are the three stadiums in Jevalette. Let's head south then to our other one of these dirty south towns. And that is Lake Lauren, if I'm not mistaken, with my my own um, made-up geography. Where's the station at here? It's way up here. It seems like a poor placement. I might have to change that eventually. Heading down to Lake Lauren, what should we talk about? Um, as of me recording this, I am getting really excited for the Doctor Who 60th anniversary special, which will have aired by the time that you guys have seen this. I have a bunch of cool stuff on the main channel coming out. Um, I'm right about to post a uh, a 21 Pilots, the second episode of the 21 Pilots series, um, the one about Trench, their fifth album. So that should be on the channel by the time that you see this. Go check that out on the main channel. That's Sheet G. Uh, there's also some stuff on that channel. If you are into Doctor Who, I have an entire two-hour-long timeline video talking about the entire timeline of the new series of Doctor Who since the revival in 2005. Just puts everything on a linear timeline. Uh, and then I have rankings for every single episode of Doctor Who. Go check that out if that's something you're interested in. Otherwise, stay tuned for more on this channel as well. Lake Lauren, we've been here before. I don't have any updates really to the aquarium over here, so we won't even really check it out. This is probably similar to how it was the last time we were down here. Not a lot has changed in Lake Lauren. But this is the one that's based on at Camden Yards. This is Dayton Yards. It's home to the Lake Lauren Mermen, who now play in Tier 1, given their promotion this season. Double-decker um, bullpens in right field. I haven't decided yet what to do with center. 
I still haven't decided if I wanted to make a big scoreboard in center or not. This used to be the original size of the one at Oriole Park. And it's just kind of charming eventually, of course. I, I still haven't decided whether or not I want to do a big... I think I probably will eventually do a big warehouse right here. I thought about just leaving it open. But I think if you want to get that Camden Yards aesthetic, we got to have the... the um, whatever you want to call it, the warehouse in left field here. Obviously, I've flipped the outfields. Um, this is the one based on the United Center in Chicago. This is the Greyhound Center. So this is home to the Sirens and the Finns. Teal seats. I think I called this the Sandstone Classic. Oh, I can't exactly remember what I called this tennis tournament. Again, that's one that the Instagram page would be able to let you know. Um, but then over here, we have some press rooms in the colors of the sirens and in the colors of the fins. And then over here is progressive field. Uh, this is the one that's based on a, a little bit of a mix between state farm stadium in Phoenix, uh, home of the Cardinals and at t stadium in Arlington, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, so it's got kind of the general shape on the inside of Arizona. But I think on the outside, I'm going to make it look a little more like Dallas. This is the open end zone where the field would come through. Eventually, I'll put temporary seating down here, but make it look significantly more temporary uh, than what we see over here. This is another striped stadium, black and gray here. And do I have media rooms underneath? I think I do. You can kind of see something behind there. Let's go through here. Yeah, they don't have lights above, but this is the colors of... Uh, Lake Lauren Calcio or Lake Lauren FC. And this is the Lake Lauren Kraken. Pretty similar colors, actually, to the hockey team Kraken. But, of course, the only team that shares... I mentioned this in a past video. It's kind of hard to explain verbally what I mean by this. But, like, I use a lot of team names that are used in American professional sports. Obviously, here, the Kraken. Um... But none of those teams that I've recycled the names of share the same sport as their namesake, except for the um, the Falcon City Blue Jays, which we'll talk about next episode. Um, they are a baseball team as well. That's the only one I screwed up on. But other than that, that's all I have for Lake Lauren. Of course, we already went to Jevolette. Kind of a shorter episode. Um, Next week, of course, we'll talk about Falcon City and Valnester. A lot of things happening there, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, check out all the other videos on the channel. Plenty of non-Minecraft stuff as well. In the meantime, though, see you very, very soon.